Heading on up. What are you hiding up here? Hmm? Is it my death? Are you gonna kill me? Am I gonna be dead? Nope. 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 Ow. Nope. Ow. Ow. Bad. Ouch. Bad times. How do I kill him? Huh. Probably should have pushed that rock somewhere else. Okay. Aha! I'll never see it coming. He seems chill, right? Yeah, get him. Uh oh. You good? Ah! Right, I was still being attacked. I don't think I can throw him up there. Oh, wait, I see it. There's a breakable tile here. I don't have a bomb though, so gonna hope for the best. Well, that's not working out. Anybody got a bomb? I've made mistakes. I've been spending things. I've been throwing stuff away. It's just not the best fit for me. But that bomb chew, I can't control its output as well. I don't know how that's gonna work out. You guys all just came back? Do that. Oh no! <gasps> no, 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 no. Oh. Are they gone? Uh, <laughs> of course it would go directly into the thing that I put down. That's how my luck works. What? Stop that. Nasty weed. Oops. That was not the best call on my part. 200 more rupees. What do I spend this many rupees on? Ah. Didn't mean to do that again. Ah. Ah. Well, that didn't solve the question of how to solve the rest of this room. But the guy upstairs from a moment ago is gone, I guess. Can I, can I climb on this? I cannot. Hey, more bombs. Go figure. Oh, it's diggable. Ah, that solves that mystery. My bad. It's a diggable platform. Significantly reduces the problem for me. Who's left to kill? Oh, this guy. Oops. And that's why we have a bow. Hover boots are back! I can go over here. Aha! Sneaky. They seem to have specifically made the diamonds fall down there just in case though. Just so I couldn't miss out on them if I was going to. 
I keep, because I'm playing a Zelda game, I keep reflexively pressing, like, right bumper and left trigger to change tabs. I guess that technically works. But uh, I've been broken by the... The two Zeldas I've played on Wii U that were made for 64, where if you press, if you have to press like one bumper and one trigger, because that's what they mapped them to, because you held the 64 controller in a weird thing where you're pressing a trigger and a bumper to change things. And if I mess up and press like bumper and bumper or trigger trigger or whatever uh, to try to go left and right on the menus, one of them will be like the thing that opens the uh, the uh, virtual console menu. Let's see. I mean, that's that. So what's up with that thing? There's a purple thing over here? Is that just this? I think that is just referring to the shop. I also just wasted that health up that was there. It was a good little moment to restock on stuff. There we go. Got my arrows, got a few bombs, my health's mostly full, I got a fairy, things are good, I really wish I could get a pot. That would be noise. Hmm. So the area that contains a dungeon seems to be like a 2x2 two two grid. There's this zone right here, where this dungeon is, and then this zone right here, which is where the Gerudo dungeon is. Yeah, so the overall zone is called Lake Hylia, but the dungeon's called Frozen Grotto. And this is the Gerudo Desert, but that's the Gerudo Ruins. So many useful names. Dare I go in? I probably should. Not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just- I'm a little worried. I just had to- I have a spree, so part of me doesn't want to break this giant spree I've got going on, where I've got so much money and keys and everything. I'm worried about losing them by going into a big scary dungeon and getting killed. Uh, but I don't know what to do with my rupees. Like, there isn't sufficient place to spend them for the most part. I don't know if there's some cool mega place. I don't know. Maybe I'll check out... Maybe I will check out, like, like Hy uh, Hyrule Castles up here. Maybe there's stores. I'm guessing that maybe the entirety of Hyrule Castle is, like, in shambles and is in a bad spot. We'll find out. I'm just used to doing the dungeon in a situation where I had nothing to lose, and I was just going at it again and again. So now that I actually do have something to worry about, I'm like, Oh no, do I want to go in there right now? Oh no, he fell off the ledge! Uh, it's so much more awkward to fight. Yeah! It's the little Triforce on it. Gives you what you need. Diamonds! The Pegasus Anklet. What does that do? Hold for one or two beats, then release on the following beat to perform a dash attack. What the heck? We're getting new things. This makes me want to explore the overworld even more. Whoa! That's interesting. It's just in a it's just in a hole over here. Like surprise, here's the mega item. Dude has a, the thing has a range. Ah, what's wrong with my brain that I can never get that stuff right? Ah! Now let's stay Zelda. I got a thing going on. What is gonna happen here? Oh, watch out for the ice. And the evil penguins. They're here to be evil and penguiny. 
Not the evil penguins, they're the worst ones of them all. Uh oh. <laughs> there you go. The war drum. Use this to skip a beat and power up your attacks in the following beat. Plus two damage after dig, and the other one is just that's just a that's just a shovel. Okay. Now I'm just okay, there's more. What? It's one way to, to delay for a moment and let the enemies come to you. And maybe use that against them. Still trying to match the music even though I don't, I don't have to anymore. I'm broken. Meanwhile, hover boots are just it's a random type of boot. You know, like, collect the hover boots and use them as, like, a steadfast item that'll help you solve puzzles from here on out. You collect the hover boots and then they break ten minutes later, and you go get more hover boots, because that's just a normal item in this world. Oops. There's a, there's, a map, there's a screen over here I missed. There we go. Coming after me? Haha! <gasps> no! No, no, no! Cuckoo! Please stop! I'm sorry! Sorry! Evacuate the screen! Huh. They just hang out in the middle of danger zones like, I dare you! I fucking dare you! Come at me! See what happens! I fucking. Gah! I wish they would leave. <laughs> they could just not be like this. It's following me! It knows what it's doing. Little bastard. It's just teasing me. Is that a Deku seat? Oh, there's a sprout up there. Gotcha. Oh, that's not how you do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I, don't, I can't figure out how to counter with the crystal. I can kill him with the with the murder uh, bow. The murder bow. Try our all new murder bow. At Sporty Steve's, I could <laughs> literally couldn't think of a brand name. Cabela's, <laughs> I guess. I knew about the Cabela video games for like a decade before I finally saw a Cabela's in real life. I'm like, oh, this is a, these are stores. That's what Cabela's is. I didn't know what, for all I know, there's just a guy named Cabela that's like, it, likes hunting or something. <laughs> but nope, saw, the, saw my first Cabela's. It was very large. Like a Fry's Electronics size building, but for rednecks. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? It's like I filtered out the fact that it was a cuckoo because it was a different color. Just didn't question it for a second there. And that was a vital mistake. Ow. Stop it. I don't like how full of, of non-enemies this area is. A specific brand of unfortunate, like, not enemy. Just the thing. Oh, it didn't go off. Oh, I guess I'm fine. I meant to throw it at them. Oh, my hover boots are gone. 
Dang it. Ah, AoE. I guess we're fine. Danger, keep out. Of, of the flowers? I imagine it's something else. Why well, I'd like to have the hover boots. Nope, you can't dash across the gap with that. Gotta get hover boots. And I just imagine that if I get on top of that ledge, maybe the danger keep out thing will reveal a secret up there or something. That's the idea. If I press select, nope, it just opens that menu. I would like to have a dedicated map button, but I don't think there is one. Boop -da -boo. Something to just kind of chill about, like, kind of navigating around and just clearing out the map. Soon it will be devoid of foes. Really, the lack of... Losing the rhythm mechanic is just kind of a nice time saver once you reach that 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 point, more or less. You can't climb this thing? They can blow it up. No? Well then what are you for then? Maybe I can break it with rock. Nope. Just kind of hits it. Oh, that, that's the thing I can I can blow up though. <laughs> ah! Good thing they have AOE because I keep forgetting that they place in front of me and not under me. Another fairy shrine, but I don't have a bottle to use them on. Oops, I didn't mean to consume them. I was flailing. That's another fairy location. I'm not sure why only one of them is marked on the map that I've seen so far. Uh, I've been I've been here before. I think they respawned from a different session. Ah, back to this music. Die, B. It's really hard to not kill a bee on accident when you have the uh, AOE weapons. That speed up's not gonna help me out much. Okay, we're back to normal speed at least. Every time you transition zones, you get to kind of get reused to dealing with a different time signature. What do you got in here? Hey, it's it's shopkeeper. It's the giant no shopkeeper dude. I remember this guy. Why would I want to spend diamonds on bombs? I heard there are diamonds coming from monsters all over Hyrule. If you bring enough by, you can buy some of my stuff. I used to be a traveling salesman, but there are so many monsters around now. It's not exactly the safest career choice. I'll offer you a discount, but since I'm the only merchant around, any price is a bargain. What do you mean there's another merchant now? And he sings? Aw, oh, beans. Anything here you're particularly fond of then? I guess I need the business. I love that. There's a new merchant and he sings bottle. Bottle, 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 bottle. I've got a new bottle. There's a new flail. Never seen that before. What does that do? L-shaped attack. What does that even mean? No one knows. I'm not sure. He's the big nose guy from like Wind Waker and stuff. Come 
Come on. Come on out. I'm trying to figure out this L-shaped attack. What direction is the L? Hmm. Does this thing serve a purpose besides just getting broken? Nope, there's nothing in it. I don't seem to need another platform around here. I was curious. I'm get I'm accomplishing my exact goal. Yes. Come here. No. Okay, that's that's a bad plan. They'll foil me apparently. Don't touch me. I need you to go in the bottle. Sounds like I'm trying to get a urine sample. You could not be making this harder for me, I swear to God. Yes! Finally. I've got two fairies. It's getting very hard for me to die. We're, we're we're accomplishing the difficulty level of a of a oh got diamonds inside. We're, <laughs> the more fairies I get, the closer we get to the difficulty. We we get further away from the difficulty level of a Necro Dancer game and closer to the difficulty level of a 3D Zelda game. Oh yeah, it does count as an enemy. What does L shaped mean? I guess I'll never fully get it. I don't know. I've got an upgraded weapon. Obviously, it makes sense to stick with that, but hey, now I know what the categories are. There's a dagger, a broadsword, a spear, a flail, and a rapier. Rapiers can apparently only be used by Zelda, which is... Yeah, the daggers can also only be used by Zelda and Cadence, I think is her name. I think that's why it's called the game's called Cadence of Hyrule, because she's her name is Cadence. Or as Link has his master sword or some equivalent thereof. He has a regular, he has a short sword. And I don't know what his last category is then. That's curious. That also seems to verify that I unlock Cadence at some point as a playable character. I must be able to play as Cadence outside of the intro. Because she never had a chance to get a rapier during the intro. So why would she be able to use them? Ow. Stop it. Haha. <laughs> Come on down, buddy. Yeah, evil statue. Aren't you mad at me and want me to die? No. Okay. I'll go get the block. Ah! Don't know how to manage to mess that one up. Alright. Oopsie. It's alive! Haha. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> I like the music transitioning back and forth. Oh, there's another one. I've definitely missed some of these. They're sneaky little bastards. Whoa! I've never noticed this before. The game's tempo is still based on my movement, even when I'm in this mode. I didn't realize that. I'm all running away in a frantic hurry, like, Oh, the bomb's gonna blow up on me. What am I gonna do? Uh... If I don't move, nothing will happen. Ow, I thought I was running away. Why'd that happen? Having a broadsword can be a real trap sometimes. It's really, it's a really powerful weapon that obviously helps me out, but there's a lot of moments where it's kind of dangerous. That wasn't necessarily helpful. What? You can use it to latch onto certain objects and pull yourself towards them. It can also stun enemies. Yay! People love it when I get a hook shot in Zelda games and try to use it to stun enemies, and they're like, "Stop trying to use the hook shot! What are you doing? Why would you use the hook shot in that fight?" <laughs> it's been a thing. Okay, this torch is about to break, so let's switch it out for a less good one that won't break yet. It works on these things. Aha! Now I gotta go back to Gerudo Village and figure out. I, I bet that the, the hook shot lets me do something there that I was trying to do before. There's a gear up there. Do I want another gear? 
I don't know. I don't- <laughs> I, just, I genuinely don't know what that's for. There we go. Weapon piercing. What does that mean? Weapons can pierce through shields. Oh. That's effective. Dead shield. I love this game's music. Which should not be a surprise because it's like two game it's two games known for their music mixed together. But also the Gerudo the Gerudo theme's always been one of my favorite things. So I'm just kind of having a chill time right now. No. All right, let's go back to the original terrain. Didn't really happen, did it? Okay, maybe I can use the hook shot over here. No secrets. And it's not respawning. Uh, there's something I can do to get that gear. There has to be. But it's not gonna happen like this. Yeah, I need the original terrain to respawn at some point. Hey! Damn. Calm your shit. Dead. I could use a health up right about now before I become dead. I'm not approach these guys always hit me, so I'm just not approaching. I'm not dealing with that right now. There we go. Clear. Hearts. Give me the hearts. I acquire hearts. Doesn't really help me climb it. Oh, heart. They give me a lot of blocks this time. The issue is that normally you approach a cliff by going, eh, like into it. You have to climb this thing by walking into it from the outside, but this whole top rim is just a ledge and this side rim is a ledge, so I can't climb up the blocks that I put next to this chest. But perhaps there's a way. Can I push two of them at once? I cannot. That's the secret. There we go. You can oh, it's not that big of a deal. Another one of these things that I keep not using, that I really should be using. Temporarily gives your attacks an electric effect. I should be using these, but I keep not. This one's good, though. Fills up your stuff when you need it. Which, right now, I'm kind of fine. I can use health though, maybe it would give me a, a need when I- oh god, I'm out. That seems like a bad time. Let's try to get some heart first. <laughs>